Hi friends, good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you're doing fine, excellent and okay. <laughs> I suppose. In case you're new to this channel, my name is Princess Anu, and on this channel we talk about aviation, motivation, and adventure. But on today's episode, we are going to be talking about three Q codes, very important Q codes, and I'm talking about QNH, QFE, and QFF. I was discussing with a friend uh, yesterday, and I discovered that he was having like issues with understanding the Q codes, and it's not just him because I remembered also when I started learning both aerodynamics and metrology these things were confusing so i want to make it i want to try and simplify it so that you can get to understand the difference between qnh qfe qff because these codes are very very important in aviation when you're flying if you set the wrong qnh you can end up crashing if you send the wrong qnh when you're landing and probably you are doing an instrument flight even when you're not doing an instrument flight sometimes it can get everything like confusing in the cockpit and you will not know what to do and not only that even when you take off and probably you're flying let's say you set a particular qnh and you are flying on 5000 feet and the other guy flying set a different qnh and he's flying at 5000 feet i tell you that you guys might not be flying on the same altitude just because of the kind the qnh you set on your altimeter setting so we're going to be talking about that today so stay tuned let's go right in so QNH is the atmospheric pressure from mean sea level. So this is taken from mean sea level a measurement. I'm going to be using like the flight sky obviously finished from as a case study. For instance, Zaria. If you're in Zaria, when you're setting, let's for, let's say for instance the air traffic controller, which is the ATC, he gives you QNH 1015. When you put 1015 on your uh, altimeter you are going to see that sometimes your altitude might be reading 2150 or 2200 that's what your altimeter is likely going to be reading and that's when you set the qnh now when you set the if you're asked for a qfe when you're on ground your qfe is supposed to be zero because the qfe definition is atmospheric pressure from aerodrome elevation that is from aerodrome level it's so it's supposed to be reading zero feet so for instance now you are on the ground your qfe is zero so if you probably you set a qfe and you probably take off but you're not so you're not going to be taking off with a qfe but i'm just right, trying to use that as an example every uh, aerodrome are not the same like from ground from mean sea level so qfe is like the same everywhere once you're on ground you are going to be reading zero feet on ground that is in landing or whatever your qff is going to your qfe is going to be reading zero feet now qff is the atmospheric pressure from mean sea level corrected for temperature QFF is corrected for temperature. So these are the three, th three things. In case you see it in objective exams, in case you see it in theory exams, because I know that in most engineers write theory exams and most, uh, I think, uh, standard flight operations too, sometimes they do theory exams and air traffic controllers too, they do theory exams. So in case you see any of these in your theory exams, you're not going to mix it up. QNH is atmospheric pressure from mean sea level. QFF is from atmospheric pressure from aerodrome elevation, which is usually zero feet when aircraft is on the ground. And QFF is atmospheric pressure corrected for mean sea level corrected for temperature so these three things i hope you always have it in your mind and you don't get to mix up these things because it can like cost you like two marks and if you're flying mixing them up can can it can cost a disaster and we don't want that in aviation so guys this is all i have for you in today's video till i meet you next time on the same channel keep watching princess and tv stay safe be fine be happy and live your best life catch you guys <laughs>